Did you all hear about Donald Trump about two or three days ago calling up the mayor of Tangier Island in the Chesapeake Bay and telling him that contrary to all appearances, his island was not sinking? <laughs> And the point I want to make is that the man believed what he was told rather than what he saw. <clears throat> Did you hear about the Secretary of War, James Mattis, telling Congress a few days ago that for the 16th year in a row, they're going to bring a plan to win the war on Afghanistan? And Congress either believed it or they've been paid enough to act like they believed it. We need radical reforms in our education system that go beyond ending standardized tests, shrinking classrooms, training and paying right. teachers. We need courses taught in every school in the subjects of social change, nonviolent action, and refining practical techniques for the successful recognition of bullshit. <laughs> and, and, and I include <laughs> and I include in that the idea that there is something violence can accomplish in the world that nonviolence cannot accomplish better. That's bullshit. Did you know that down the road in Charlottesville, Virginia, we got our city to vote to take down the statue of Robert E. Lee put up by racists Yay. in the 1920s? And we ran into a problem because there is a state law in Virginia that forbids taking down any war monument. Now there is a law, if ever there was one, that needs to be repealed in this right. capital of That's the Confederacy, right. oh, or at yes. least amended to require an equal-sized monument to peace for every monument to war. Yeah. Yes. Have you noticed that the same people who rigged their primary to nominate one of the only candidates on earth who could have lost to Donald Trump are now targeting Trump with the one and only accusation that can blow up in their faces for lack of proof or blow up in everybody's face in the form of a nuclear war. Meanwhile, Donald Trump is openly guilty of illegal wars illegal prejudicial bans on immigrants, illegal willful destruction of the Earth's environment, unconstitutional domestic and foreign profiteering from his public office, and a whole laundry list of crimes from sexual assault to voter intimidation. Nancy Pelosi says, do nothing. Sit back, relax. The man is going to, and this is her new word, self-impeach. I respectfully suggest that people no more self-impeach than wars self-end, guns self-ban, police self-reform, energy systems self-convert, schools self-improve, houses self-build, or planets self-protect themselves. The only strategy this mindset is going to lead us to is self-destruction. Congress clearly will not self-govern. We have to impose our will. We have to understand that what is needed is to, and to create what is needed against the concerted efforts of those in power. Power concedes nothing without a demand, said Frederick Douglass. Let's do some demanding. Thank you. The, the, uh,